Everybody, greetings. I'm Eric Kosharski, and we're gonna go hit up some garage sales and uh, some pawn shops and thrift stores and all that stuff. So let's see what happens at this sales when we get there. Woo! Just stopped at that estate sale. Over there. There's actually two estate sales right next to each other. Didn't find anything, but the one right there had a jukebox, which looks actually looked pretty cool. I got some photos of it. I'm gonna look it up and see if it's worth anything. Well, this is a double greetings because I got my camcorder rolling. Um, we are live as well. I just stopped at a pawn shop back there. I've been doing a few garage sales early this morning. I hit a few, pl a couple places up. But um, yeah, look, we got troll hunters on the PS4 just now at the pawn shop. We also picked up the uh, Minecraft doll, Minecraft on the. Uh, the PS4. We also have Avengers on the Xbox One. Uh, we picked up some party favors on 360. We got Walking Dead, Call of Duty World at War, and Call of Duty Black Ops on the PS3. And then we have not Uno, uh, but we have a dose. Dose. So you didn't go grudge. No, yes, I did. I did go grudge. Anyway, dose. Two Xbox. Um, 360 controllers plus the stack of the games. It was like 30 bucks or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Those controllers, they'll get 20 each out of. Anyway, I will see you guys at our next stop. Woo! Just stopped at that garage sale right over there. We actually hit up a garage sale. It's cool, it's awesome. And you're not going to believe what I bought. He said 10 bucks each, then I got them down to like five bucks each. Um, I got two hoverboards. Oh, look at that. Hover, ho hover, hover heart is what this is. Anyway, yeah, look at those things. Look at those bad boys. Those things are usually like 100 plus in the store, depending on which one. I don't even know if those are good ones or what, but $5 a piece? Are you kidding me? That was a steal. I stole them babies. Woo! We wanted this AB. Uh, anyway, um, just stopped at a rummage sale. These were 50 cents a piece. Look at this. A dollar. A dollar for two games. I think even a poor wizard can afford that. Just stopped at a twofer. There was one sale over there, one sale over there. They had some Blu-rays, some DVDs, but um, no video games. So I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys in a second at our next stop. Oh, whoa! Here comes Kiwi, here comes Kiwi, riding down Kiwi Lane. So Josh didn't find anything, but I just got this cool CD. Ju it's uh, Juliana Zobris, say it now. And it's funny because she was married to one of the Rays players, Ben Zobris. Is it, in there? it is in there, and it's autographed by her. I don't know what it's worth, but for 50 cents, it was definitely worth that shot. In two ninety eight, it's an XXL. Viva but it looks the like Donald, it's XL, Sorry. and not the Donald Trump. But anyway, Viva La Bam. Yeah, definitely early. We just stopped at that Goodwill back so. over there. This is a nice shirt. And Josh got a real nice, a real nice T-shirt. I didn't find anything. They did have some <laughs> controllers, but I will see you guys at that next stop. Woo. <laughs> just stopped at an estate sale back there. They had some gaming computers. Yeah. Nothing great. We and now something. Kiwi's got me in a little bit of a bind, but we're gonna try and get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys at that next stop. Whoa. So, Josh, what did we just pick up? A bunch of movies is missing. But they're, they're all missing. They just stopped at Garage Show. Garage over there. Oh, and Josh got another Titanic on the VHS because he's a Titanic collector now. I don't know why, but anyway. I'll see you guys. We're gonna hit up a couple more pawn shops and that'll end it for today. So let's go hit up these pawn shops. Just stopped at that pawn shop way over there and then at Salvation to the Army. Uh, me and Josh are winding down at our adventure for the day. I will be back tomorrow because um, uh, I got some stuff to go hopefully pick up. Anyway, I'll see you guys. We got like two more stops and then it's auction time, baby. Auction diehards. We just stopped at a pawn shop. Uh, Cash America. What'd you pick up, Joshy? Very nice and 
Probably rare watch. Probably yeah, not rare watch. The Nobola. Um, I'm gonna okay. try and show you these without destroying my camera. Shit. Shoot. So we've got all these games, dollar a piece. We got Halo, three ODST, Halo Wars, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare again, Advanced Warfare, NCAAs, and then Tony Hawk. So eight games, four eight bones. So this is funny. I just got half off my entire purchase at Last Chance Thrift Store. This I got for ten bones. It's a PS4 controller. And this is the now. Please, Will, if Will Smith, if if you're watching this, do not hate me. But I didn't have a choice. But uh, I also picked up a copy of GI Jane <laughs> on the VHS tape, just because. Uh, well. If you haven't seen the Oscars, and knowing my luck, one day I'll be on the Oscars and he'll see it. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys at our next stop. Okay, it is day two, um, Saturday. Sorry I didn't get a, a footage from last night from the auction, but uh, I will show you what I got from the auction uh, later on when I do the recap of everything. But yeah, just hit up a cell back there. We're in Tampa somewhere. But anywho, I'll see you guys. Uh, at the next stop because hopefully the stops gonna be a big one So just stopped back over there at that garage sale um, it, it was a Facebook ad. I thought I was gonna beat everybody else here He said he didn't open till 8 somebody showed up at 7 as usual see I had a feeling that I should have gotten up earlier But I did get a ps2 as a consolation prize which I got a really good deal on. It was $30 for a complete PS2 with five games. So I could still get like 80, 90 bucks out of that, you know. But all the good stuff, some guy showed up seven in the morning. He said came an hour early, practically bum rushed the house, gave him a thousand dollars. So I don't know if I had, I don't know if I would have brought quite that much, maybe who knows, but either which way, somebody beat me to it. So it's a moot point. I will see you guys at the next stop. And later I'll show you the PS2. Boom. So I just hit up an estate sale back there. And the guy's, the guy's like, oh, I don't think she has any older older stuff, like Nintendo stuff, whatever. And then the older lady actually chimed in. And she's like, oh, no, that stuff went last night. Like, what? <laughs> Eep. Just stopped at that sale over there. Uh, no video games. She said her kids still play them. So boo for that. She had some movies, but nothing great. Trying to get out of movies, but anyway, uh, we are 12 minutes away from our next stop. I'll see you guys when we get there. Ooh. Just stopped right over there at that little sale. There's actually a couple sales here. We stopped at this one as well. Um, I don't think this is a community sale, but I'm, I neither one of them had any games, and I was also looking to see if they had any like collector sets for like Blu-ray or whatever didn't find any of that so we're still on our way to that other sale that I GPS like four sales ago but we keep running into sales on the way there so see you guys in like two seconds just stopped at that garage sale over there and I was talking to the guy because I guess where we're going is a community sale and he said that what he does is he waits for them to announce their community sale it's across the bridge over there and then he just piggybacks off because the only way they can get to the community sale is to drive past his sale so so he gets a little bit of an advantage there and he had a ton of movies, he had like 5,000 movie posters for like a dollar a piece or something crazy, but I'm just gonna, I wasn't gonna mess with those because shipping and all that, but anyway, I'll see you guys when I get to my next stop. Well, I finally bought something. I bought, look at this, Pokemon Surprise Challenge number two. Um, and it's from like 98, so it's retro, it was a buck. I'm gonna look it up later. Hopefully I can get a few dollars out of that. Um, and I did give somebody my store address and information. He's got a PS3 that he's looking to potentially sell. He said he'll come to my shop. Because I said I'm looking for retro video games. He's like, I'm looking for that stuff too. So, anyway. Yeah, I might have a customer out of all this. So, it looks like this is the end of the community sale. There's a couple sales over there uh, that I just hit up pretty much struck out at this community sale. They either had stuff and sold it. One guy said he's got a slim PS3 that he wants to bring by my store. So hopefully I'll see him at some point with that. But 
So yeah, there's, there's that other, the last sale. And apparently that was the end. So now we're gonna go GPS another area. Actually, we're gonna go get drinks because uh, our mouths are getting dry. But anyway, I'll see you guys at our next stop. Woo! We just hit our second estate, or not estate, so, uh, community sale. There's no games in this, unfortunately, but I got a Mario Odyssey Switch case. It says five, I got it for three. Um, but I could probably get like 10 bucks. This one's this one's pretty good. Uh, and then I got some Nerf guns back there. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna hit up another like 30 sales and I'll hit you guys back in a second. Oh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> so I just picked up, these were a buck. I got for a dollar the entire Star Wars trilogy on VHS tape. Uh, this is all Josh's fault. Then I got Old Brother, but it's factory sealed. And give me two seconds. Anyway, here's the best thing that I got from this. Um, I, can't, I don't know how to pull it out. Can you? It is the Beatles Anthology. This thing is huge. There's the back. And then here's the front. Eight, eight VHS tapes for a dollar. So that was technically... That's technically twelve dollars and fifty cents. Uh, no, twelve, twelve point five cents. What am I saying? It's a dollar for all eight. So four would be a quarter piece. So yeah, twelve, twelve point five cents per v VHS tape, and that's got to be more than a buck. It's Beatles. Just hit up another two sales in the second community sale that we've been to today, and there's a van going around with a Disney license plate and the guy that was in that car I guess they also own somewhat of a shop like records or whatnot he says there's like three or four different game people in here they've scoured this place and I'm probably gonna be out of luck but you never know so I'll keep up the good fight <laughs> so just stopped at that sale right there and oh there's a bunch of trucks um, I bought this. It says Dragon's Dogma. I didn't pay four. I paid two because the game inside was actually worth more than Dragon's Dogma. It was Resident Evil uh, Revelations, and I think that's uh, just a one di one disc game. So I got lucky on that. Anyway, so she had a Sega Genesis over there with two games, all the hookups, and I'm thinking, yeah, finally a system. Because I was asking if they had any games, and she was about to answer. And I looked down, I see the Genesis. And I'm like, finally, I'm saved. I'm gonna find something. She looks at me with a straight face and says, 100 bucks for Genesis with two games. That's At most, I would pay like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. And the other guy was there, the one with the Disney license plate. He's like, see, I told you, just keep looking, you'll find something. And I'm like, yeah, but she wants $100 for it. And he, he, actually, he actually busted out laughing. And he's like, well, uh, <laughs> that's a little too high. <laughs> so... I'm at the community sale, and I, I stopped at my local local uh, Dunkin' Donuts shop, and I picked up my favorite donut. Uh, I'm just, there. there's not an actual, apparently these parents are trying to teach their kids math or something, so I guess they bought a bunch of boxes of Dunkin' Donuts, and they're selling donuts for $2 a piece, and they happen to have my favorite donut. You didn't buy me one? Do you want one? <laughs> well, here, we'll, 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 we'll stop. And look, hold it up. There you go. I got another donut. Two donuts from my local, uh, my local Dunkin' garage sale. <laughs> Just stopped back at that garage sale back over there. I finally got some good stuff. Um, I'm gonna pull over to an area where it is safe, and I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, I finally got a huge score today. So back at that sale back there, I had to get a shot of it. It was the find of the day, like the literal best find of the day. I got Jeopardy on the Wii in this lot. Uh, it's not what? it's not rare but but after Alex died some of the, some of the Jeopardy games went up anyway I got a complete Wii it's in really nice shape it's got the doors um, I got a copy of Roar McGilroy PGA Tour on the PS4 I've got uh, Advanced War Fair on the PS4 anyway the Wii came complete with all the cords four controllers two nunchucks 15 games Wii Sports literally the works probably a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff forty bucks baby so um there's the box right back there and give me two seconds i want to see what's in the system okay guys let's do this power up dragon up that's not what that's not even 
We fit, yay. <laughs> so Mama K calls me and apparently the snow co over here, but kind of close to us, is giving away 500 tanks of free gas. A local rapper has donated, I guess, 25 grand for free gas. So we're gonna try hit up the gas station. There's there's cars everywhere. I, I don't know if we're even gonna make it, but we're gonna try. So so we just saw we just saw the rapper. We're in line to get our free gas. This is insane. Um, Thank you to, uh, what was that rapper's name? Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He's a local guy. Uh, Rod. That's it. Rod Wave. Yeah, St. Pete right. rapper Rod Wave giving away 25. Thank you, Rod. Um, if he's got a YouTube channel, go find him on YouTube okay. and subscribe. Ooh. So, um, I'm okay not too happy, but I just filled my tank all the way up for free. Thank you to that rapper, um, that is awesome. Anyway, I don't think we're gonna hit up any more stops, but I am gonna do like a recap clip um, in a second. But yeah, th this, today's just been a nuts day. I just got a full tank of gas. They put $50 in gas in my car for free. So, hell yeah. So here are the finds for today, the game finds anyway. We got a PS2. Complete. Uh, all the cords are in here. There's a bunch of games, mostly poker, hard rock, stuff like that. Then I got a Wii with like 15 games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 16 games, actually, because there was the infamous Wii Sports. Complete. Uh, we got Wii Play, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, Jillian Michaels, Just Dance 234, Black Eyed Peas Experience. I need to find Michael Jackson Experience. Uh, High School Musical 3, Personal Trainer, Game Party, Rapala, Tournament Fishing, uh, Bowling World Lanes. But the best part about this lot was that it comes with one controller. It comes with two controller. But wait, there's more. It comes with three controller. And the best part of this whole thing is this here. It comes with four controllers. So four controllers and the complete Wii. Here's all the accessories. Um, for it. And the Wii is in mint condition. Uh, give me two seconds, it is in my car actually. So yeah, as stated, there's the Wii, it's got the doors. It's in pretty, fairly good condition considering it's a Wii and those don't get banged up. Here's stuff I got yesterday. We got the PS4 controller. We got a couple of 360 remotes. We got a stack of games, Halo ODST, Halo Wars, Call of Duty, Advanced War, Modern Warfare. We've got Final Fantasy X2, Minecraft, Avengers, uh, what is this one, Troll Hunters, that's a good one, World at War, Walking Dead, Black Ops, and Star Wars. And uh, yeah, so this will conclude the Garage Shell video for today. After this clip, I'm going to throw in a clip from... The auction, I, I've, well, not from the auction, but of the finds that I got from the auction, because I got so I've been getting so much stuff since I've been actively going out and hunting lately. I gotta do separate clips. So, cut to me at home, and here is the stuff from the auction. Okay, so here are the finds. Uh, some of these are garage sale finds. Most of this is auction stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of Nintendo sleeve things and in the Nintendo sleeve lot we got two guns three Nintendo controllers uh, power cord I think it was like ten dollars for all that then I got here's some decent stuff here we got Harvest Moon on the Game Boy we've got uh, Mario Kart on the DS I still have to test both of these DS I got in the auction there's the auction lot number two DS lights uh, there's a bunch of Sega controllers in here some GameCube I got a ton of controllers. I got an Xbox One with the power brick that's down in here. Xbox One power brick. Uh, we got random accessories. A brand new PS2. Well, not new, but like, I don't know. It's still in the box. Pet wrapper. We got that. Uh, this one actually, this was actually in that Wii lot that I got um, at garage selling earlier. This one's actually worth a decent amount, so I'm going to list that. We got Mario Sonic at the London Olympics. Troll Hunters, I think I, that was in the earlier clip. We got Monster Hunter Road Rash. 
another Mars Sonic Olympics Klax. We got the uh, coconuts. We have, what is this? Oh brother, where art thou? Of course, G.I. Jane on a VHS. Then we got the Star Wars trilogy. We got the G my Ginorous Beatles set. We Sports Resort, Re Resort. This one is actually Resident Evil. I got a Pokemon coloring book from the late 90s. It comes complete with the marker. And then over here, a random assortment of controllers. Actually, I think I blew past this. A Nintendo brand GameCube controller was in one of the lots. This is all random, like PS2 controllers, GameCube controllers. Just a huge assortment of stuff. But overall, I think it was some good finds. Anyway, this will conclude this week's Garage Sale video. And I will see you guys uh, next week for more Garage Sales. I'm out. Woo. Okay.